Hello and welcome to the SysCard video tutorials. My name is Sergey and today we are going to speak about one very specific and one very useful tool, CSV files. CSV files are perfect for mass adding and editing of the products. In the previous videos we briefly spoke about them, but now it's time to get deeper. The first part of the video is dedicated to the mass editing and in the second part we will be speaking about mass adding of the products. Let's roll! First I would like to remind you that you can also use edit selected to edit lots of products at once and bulk product addition to add lots of products at once. But CSV is the fastest way, maybe not the easiest, but definitely the fastest. Now, to create CSV files you need to go to Administration, Import Data or Export Data. Of course, first you export data and then you import data. Ok, here you can export features, orders, products, subscribers, translations and users. We need only products for now. On this page you can export not just products, but product combinations, images wanted discounts and even option exceptions. You can also choose the layout. For example, currently we use general layout that includes all information about the products to be more accurate, all important information about the product. But you can create your own layout by save layout as and then click save. Here we have export options. Well, category delimiter. When we use this symbol in the CSV file, we create new categories. I will explain it later. Feature variants, the same thing. That's there the images directory located, files directory located, price decimal separator. Everything that um, about cents. Dollars, dot, cents. I think that's clear. CSV delimiter, semicolon, output direct download and uh, file name. Yes, of course, you can change the file name according to your needs. Notes. You can select a range to export, otherwise all products will be exported. No, we don't need to export all products. We are going to select some. Let's choose the first three products and then export selected. Now we need to choose the exported fields. No, I don't want to export all of these fields. By the way, product code and language fields are obligatory or mandatory. That means that without them you cannot export products. Now let's choose some of them. By the way, the fields in this list match the options and settings of the products. As you can see, max quantity setting, box size, category, list price. Let's choose a product ID, category, price, list price, quantity. What else? What else can be useful? Inventory tracking? No. That was something. Short description, options type, out of stock actions. There must be name somewhere. That's what I need actually. Well, let's try to find it. Got it. Product name and status. Done. Okay, let's call it some kind of short list. Something like that. Save. Done. Now we can choose this layout from this layout list. And now export. Done. Now let's take a look at our CSV file. After exporting CSV file, you can use Excel functions to your advance. Let's move from the first category to the last and I'll show you what we can do. Product code. Oh. Here we do nothing, because product code is unique uh, for every product and you, and you don't need to change that. Then you create a new product, you create the unique product code for this new product. Ok, language. 
English, English, English. You can change the language according to the default language of your store. Product ID 12, 17, 148. This is the position of a product in the store, in the list. Product name. Okay, here what we can do. We can change the name. Of course, we can do it this way. Okay. Categories. Here we can add the new category or move the product from one category to another. For example, here MP3 players and we add the new category. Done. And for example, here we move it from business and investing. to the books just like that okay uh, what else you can change the price here that's some weird price you know let it be $50 list price the price of your suppliers the price of a manufacturer and so on Quantity. Of course, you can change the quantity. For example, here we have zero. Here we have zero. After that, you can sort out the products. Sort. By quantity. Okay, diminishing. Done. After that, we can disable the products. For example, active disabled, and after that, we just drag and make them all disabled. You can do this not with three products or five products, you can do this with all the products in the store. Out of stock actions. Okay, this is peculiar. First, let me show you what does this letter mean in the store. For this, we need to go back to the admin panel, okay, product settings, availability, out of stock actions, none. That's what N means. We choose, for example, buy in advance. I want to make all my products to be available for buying in advance. What do we need to do for that? We need to find variables for none, buy in advance and sign up for notification. Just press F12, open the code of the page. And after that, search for out, I'm sorry, search for out of stock. Got it. Out of stock actions. Okay, here we go. Option value and none. Option value B, selected by in advance. Option value S, sign up for notification. That's what you need. Now let's make it sign up for notification. Oh, first close. Okay, let's go back to our Excel page and here, just like this, S, 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 S. That's how we change the variable. Now, then these products will become unavailable. The customers will be able to sign up for notifications. You can also use formulas to change prices fast and effectively. For example, you have the price of your supplier. This column will not be added to the catalog of the store, so don't bother. Now, we take this price, enter it here, after that we delete this price. Okay, now this is our supplier's prices. What we can do about that? We can create new prices that are based on this price by using formulas. Okay, equal price of a supplier and then we add some profit to it. Done, our new price. After that, you don't have to re-enter this formula over and over again. You can just drag and apply it. Done, as you can see, formula applies to every product. 
That's how they work. Uh, the same thing you can do about currencies. For example, let me show you. I'm going to create a new list. Currency, something like that. It's not necessary, but that's what you can do to keep up with the um, changing of the rates. For example, USD uh, 65. We already have B2 cell. We're going to call it USD. Yeah, that's right. Now, we take A and enter USD. Done. As you can see, we have a new price here. 2,262. And voila. Our new rates have been applied to all products in the store. Easy and fast. Instead of entering and entering and re-entering all the prices all over again, you can just enter the formula and uh, drag it and apply to all products. That's how it works. One last thing here. For example, well, I see that these products are out of stock. They are disabled. So I decide to create a new category. Done. I will show you what I can do with that. Okay, we moved these products to the new category, trash bin. Okay, I saved my CSV file and now I can import the data. Sorry, import data, products. Mm, yes, 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 local. Okay, I added the file, import. Okay, new object 0, updated objects 3, skipped object 0, total 3. Now let's go to a product list. All three products are disabled. As you can see, their quantity is diminished. Or oh, what else? Let's go inside. Outstock action, sign up for notification, just like uh, I did. And now, yes, here I can sign up for notifications too. All of my changes have been applied. Now, one more thing. I told you about categories. Categories. Here we have a new category here, trash bin, that I have created. This button. Here we have two products. After that, we can just select this category trash bin. Special category for the products I want to delete. You can do the same thing. And then just click delete. You delete the category and you delete the products inside it. Well, uh, by the way, speaking about new categories and uh, our book was moved to the books category. But if you go straight to the books, we won't find this book here. You can ask me why. Because no products can be placed in the root category. Like apparel, books, they all they're all located in their specific subcategories, like men's clothing, women's clothing, and uh, if you speak about books, business and investing, computing and internet, no products can be placed in the root category. Though I wasn't able to show you the books, you learned something new about this card. As you can see, the CSV file is the best way to edit lots of products at once, so don't neglect this method. In the next video, we will be speaking about adding new products. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCAD video tutorials.